hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is gonna be an extra video for this week because I'm you I usually post Sundays and Wednesdays I'm kind of messing with my schedule a little bit but when this video is out I'm posting every Sunday and Wednesday but this is going to come out tomorrow which is Thursday so as I was strolling through um, my emails mind you I've pretty much been stalking the Brandon Blackwood um, his page on Instagram but then I got the email about the spring collection release so I decided which I've done for pretty much if not all most of his releases I usually just share with you all the pieces um, and then I tell you all which ones I have on my list to try to obtain so let's get right into this so this is the Brandon Blackwood spring summer collection how is your girl looking because let me tell you I just threw this on real quick because I just washed my hair so it's wet and it's kind of chilly so I threw on this Ivy Park if y'all remember this collab it was the Adidas and Ivy Park collab but yes let's see so this first bag is the SYL bag it's the shells in beige linen linen bag um it's cute it's cute and whatever but I'll be honest like it's not really my style per se so this is $245 uh, so yeah available Friday everything from this collection will be available Friday April 8th and I just no like it's cute but I don't think I would wear it um, or maybe I would because now I'm picturing it like on vacation you know I'm going on vacation pretty soon so I'm picturing it with a cute linen dress and maybe this bag but I don't know I don't know it's not it didn't really stand out to me um, but this bag kind of did so this is the Elizabeth bag this is green leather with a brass hardware I love this style like this is something that you can wear casually with some jeans and a t-shirt or you can dress this up like with a nice beautiful dress um, in this bag it's the top handle it's the top handle let me see if this it does come with a strap and I like the thickness of this strap so it kind of just definitely helps with a more casual outfit if it was a thinner strap then you could still wear it casually but I feel like the thicker strap definitely helps out with that this one is gonna be $350 I'm thinking about getting this one I'm just not a hundred percent sure yet there are pretty much four bags that I have on my list um, the next one that we're gonna look at really quick is the Houghton tote this is in hot pink leather I will say that this is one of the bags that is on my wish list this is $350 as far as um, the details or like the material this is let's see if they it's a hundred percent cowhide leather so you're getting that you're getting that leather you're getting that leather for 350 dollars the hardware is brass metalware and the lining is micro suede the reason why i am loving this bag is one because it's big so if you're going like on vacation or anything like that this it seems big enough for that the bottom has the feet you guys know how I feel about feet on a bag um, and I maybe I was mistaken yeah it looks like it so I love the look and I'm assuming this is an assumption because I haven't really seen it it looks like you can cinch it in a little bit like if you can see on the sides right there you can almost see that it cinches in a little bit and I love that aesthetic and if it actually works that you could cinch it in I'm here for it like I am here for it do you guys see this do you guys see it you guys know colors trending it is what it is it's trending I love me some color so it's a 
color is my thing color is my thing so I'm loving the pink this bag so this is the Marcy Ave tote it's a camel net over beige linen um tote guys this is on my list this is $500 I didn't realize it was gonna cost $500 however however I am loving this bag do you guys see this and I love that he puts feet on his bags like I just love that so when you put your bag down it's not on just bare surface you have the feet to kind of protect the bottom I love this bag if you guys remember if you've been on my channel for a while you guys know I have the off-white book totes I think that's what it's called or like it's a no I'm sorry it's the off-white tote bag and this is like it but I love the linen and I love how it kind of looked like it looks like caged like a caged linen bag I don't know I really really like this the strap hopefully it's thick enough but I would probably use it top handle anyway so the strap is great but oh do you guys see this and I'm sure the picture like the way they have that dark background is kind of helping here but this bag this listen listen so this is also 100% cowhide leather lined linen um, and the inside is micro suede so it's and you you guys feel free to help me out in the comment section down below I'm gonna share with you all the Carol buckle bag so it comes in this print uh, this is the leopard pony hair with brass hardware this is $250 and this one has like I said the gold chain I love the look of it I really do I love how it closes I love the interior of it I do but where I'm stuck is do I want the leopard or do you guys see this do you guys see this beauty so this is the cow print bag oh I just love the aesthetic of I think I think I've already made my decision as to which one I prefer like look at that do you guys and I love when they post pictures of it styled because it kind of gives you like a sense of the size of the bag because sometimes pictures can be deceiving deceiving a bag can look bigger than what it actually is but when you see it like besides someone's body you can got kind of get a feel for the size remember but it's relative to a person's body shape and type right so if you're probably for me if I was taking this picture the bag would look smaller because I'm bigger than the model um, but still it kind of gives me a sense for how big the bag is yes it gives the dimensions but I'm gonna be honest I'm not out here with measuring tape mapping things out for how it looks so yeah this is a hundred percent here on cowhide and I think that's the one I think that's the one still gotta think about it a little but I think that's the one next you have the Medina bag this is in hot pink it's a hot pink leather pouch $150 which isn't isn't bad so far this might be the most affordable thing but it is a pouch it is a pouch so then there's that just so you all know it's just a pouch and it's real sheep leather and then you have the wooden bead bead um, as you can see not on my list the next thing that's on my list is the Laura mini tote guys listen this is definitely like the classic um, it almost like reminds me of a Telfar bag but I know that it's gonna be more structured than a Telfar bag and I love that pouch in the inside that you can cinch in one it not only serves purpose so you can like close everything off but I love aesthetically 
how it looks and this one is $265 it has like a zip closure I'm not sure if you guys kind of saw that it comes with a strap you can hold it top handle it has feet like I am excited for this if I'm not mistaken like there there are the feet um I think this comes in there's the zipper on the bag this comes in numerous colors and I'm not sure if it like shows on the page but I feel like I've seen it in so here it is in white um so it comes in white is that the only color I saw for some reason I thought I saw other co uh, colors and just so you know this is in cowhide leather as well these items are priced the way they are because you're getting quality pieces like I'm sure we're used to like the $85 bags the $60 $70 bags but you're gonna see the higher price point when you're getting better material so that's why you're kind of seeing these prices um, for these bags so I just want to point out that the Carol buckle bag also comes in this beautiful black so if you want something that's like you can dress up like this with a beautiful silk dress in the summer or even if you're like on vacation this is vacation mode this is like a forever piece this is definitely a forever piece I'm not sure I'm trying to see it doesn't look like it but it would have been even better if the um the hardware strap was removable then you could do much more with it because then you could just take it off because you know over time yes you see the bigger hardware here but over time that will go out of style so if you wanted it for longevity if there was a way for it to be removed that would be perfect and ideal so next here you have the medina bag or the pouch it's same bag but it's actually a pouch you get it in brown i'm gonna skip over that uh because you saw it in pink just picture it in brown you also got the Laura mini tote in like this sage color. I knew there were other colors. Um, I'm aiming more towards the sage. I'll click on it just so you guys can kind of see like the vibe. If it's going to let me click. It's kind of bumping me out here. Oh, look at this piece. I'm not sure like my internet is acting up. And one thing I know with Brandon Blackwood is sometimes like they'll post it for now and then they delete everything. So I don't know if they're playing with things a little bit here, but I'm going to try to go through these things really quick so we don't miss out. Next, you have the Madison bag. Another piece that is that I'm planning on getting. Guys, something is acting. All right, there. So you have the Madison bag in white net and linen. Do you guys see this beauty? This is $275. I'm going to keep my budget at $1,500. So just so you know, my budget is $1,500. But this is on my list. Do you guys see? Oh, I could just see the this. With, like I have a lot of white dresses. I have like flowy dresses, peplum dresses. And I could just see this with it with like just a pair of maybe like my tan oran my hermes oran sandals such a vibe for me as far as material again this is 100 percent cowhide leather and then you have the linen the lining is micro suede like i mentioned you're getting the quality with these pieces and i'm pretty sure that's just the direction he's um the brand is leaning in oh i'm loving this this does have silver hardware so if you love like the gold hardware i know not many people gold brass hardware i know not many people like silver hardware but doesn't really matter to me as you guys know i don't mind mixing um pieces like i like silver hardware as well as gold hardware as well so the carol buckle bag is also comes in like this green olive green ish color with the gold hardware i love that combo i love that they chose the gold because this with silver would not look good but with the gold it looks good next we're going to check out the gina mini tote to be honest this is not me this i could see um what's her name in bel-air i could so see her wearing this because i feel like this is her style so this is 200 dollars, but it kind of gives off like a tweed vibe now this we're gonna get into the pink not so much 
we're gonna skip out because I want to show you guys so the Madison bag as you guys can see on the further right it does also come in black I'm leaning more towards the white but the black also looks nice the mini tote comes in brown so so far we've seen blue white pink brown and green um, the Elizabeth bag is also gonna come in brown the Elizabeth bag is the first was it the first about the first bag we saw um, the Marcy app tote we took a peek at that it comes in this beautiful green for me it's a no only because only because the color is such and it's like a boss this is like a boss vibe bag in it's just a lot of green for me that's the only reason why so two bags i'm going to show really quick not even bags because we already discussed it it's the gina mini tote we just saw it in the pink it almost gave off that tweed vibe it comes in this matcha green which is beautiful if you guys can see that it's like a beautiful beautiful bag i'm just going to show you guys the images but the color that I am looking at in this bag is this beautiful brown. Look at this brown. Look at this brown. So this is $200 like I mentioned. Um, one may wonder why is this $200? Again, it's the material because yes, it looks like an, um, the ESR tote. It's definitely just like the ESR tote, but you're getting the wicker and you're also getting the leather. Um, you get it on the trim like on the bottom you get it on the handles so you're gonna pay for that um so yes woven straw wicker and 100 percent cow hide leather and this does have the silver hardware oh, i am like loving this so i guess the madison bag also comes in brown i'm gonna show that to you guys really quick i think they are probably I like the brown you guys know I love brown bags like look at that with the green this looks so good like this looks <laughs> oh my god he is killing me he they're killing me they're killing me here um so the Elizabeth bag right here also comes in black oh this is actually very nice it's almost like a doctor's bag that's the kind of vibe yeah see how big and spacious this bag is guys like this bag is spacious and I just love the strap I love how thick that strap is so the whole in totes also comes in brown and blue as well as black we're just gonna skip through a couple of these just so you guys can see um so the next thing we have is the kamal bucket bag and i'm not sure if you guys have seen my video but metallics you get in the metallics they're in don't really think they went anywhere much but there you're gonna see a lot of like the metallic silvers the blues the gold and here you get the kamal bucket bag um look at this i just love the metallic vibe like I really really like this this one is $200 I just want to show you guys the inside you get like that piece that you can just cinch the entire bag in again you get the feet you get the strap and those were all the pictures that provided the material is a hundred percent vegan leather and it is chrome treated that's where you're getting like that metallic vibe from lastly you're going to get the mini Kendrick trunk bags but these are metallics as well so you're gonna get the turquoise is an option purple or like a lavender color and the gold is an option I'm showing you all the turquoise one here this does have silver hardware but I love it I love the look of it I have Kendrick trunks and like I don't love them not because I don't love the style of them it's just hard for me to get things in and out of that bag that's the only honestly the only reason why I would not get these bags I love how much like the metallic vibe I love that he's offering them in these metallic colors and I love the strap of it because you're getting the hardware piece 
but it's just hard for me to get things in and out of it and that's the other size like the bigger size this is a mini so it may be a little bit a little bit more difficult that's the only guys the only reason why i'm not getting this this one is 300 dollars Again, the material is 100% vegan leather and it is chrome treated. I want to show you guys the gold one because the other one that I just showed you had the silver hardware and this is the gold hardware. And look, this is just so beautiful. And I love that it has a strap. I love that it has a strap. And is this removable? From the image it doesn't look like you can remove the gold strap but hey you could probably tuck it into the bag but thus far those are all of the pieces that I am currently seeing on the site for pieces again just to recap that I have on my list is the Elizabeth bag in green I just love how thick that strap is the Marcy Ave tote in the camel with the net over it um remember you don't have to have that they offer it in that green that uh green color but this is the one that i have i'm gonna go with the cow print um carol buckle bag and i know the silver hardware like i prefer the silver hardware so it's not taking away from the cow prints so that's the one that i'm gonna get and then as far as the Madison bag, now I feel like I'm stuck between the white and the brown, but I'm still leaning more towards the white. The Laura mini totes in the match in the matcha green leather. And there was one more bag that I wanted. It's the Houghton tote. Uh, where I'm stuck with the Houghton tote now is do I want the brown or the black? Do I want the brown or the black? We'll see. If I do the brown, I'll get the black Laura mini tote. But yeah, those are the pieces from the new Brandon Blackwood Spring Summer Collection. And those are the pieces that I have on my list. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any questions, if you have any comments. So it's Wednesday at this moment while I'm filming. If I can edit this video and get it up, I'll probably have it up later on today. If not, it will definitely be out tomorrow, Thursday, April 7th. So if you have questions, comments, concerns, um, let me know down below. I'll check them and we can start discussing things before this releases. It releases, that's something I didn't share. So this collection releases Friday, April 8th. I want to say it's 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, because I like to double check, it is 